hi guys welcome to Azure exclusive so today i'm doing a video showing you how you can configure your proxy settings in linux my teaser today is pop os but you can do this on any other disk there are three methods you can try any like they should all work for you depending on your use case but you'll see that as we go through the three options so the first option is using firefox This method will only cover Firefox alone, so you'll only be able to access your internet on Firefox alone. So I'm um, just open settings and I just quickly scroll down to network settings. Then as we can see, it says configure proxy access. I'll just choose manual proxy configuration and then type in my proxy address. Then type in my prox my my port. So I've selected this. Also use this for HTTPS. And I just close the settings and try to open a web page. I'll choose Twitter. As you can see, my internet is now working. So let me just close this. Open settings again. Scroll to the bottom and just say no proxy. So if I say no proxy, the page shouldn't load. As you can see, it doesn't load. But if I turn it back on, it should now work. So let me just quickly cancel and try to load the page again. As you can see reddit is just opened so let's move on to the second option which means we should switch this off now let's just leave it on your system proxy settings for the next method so then i'll go back to my settings on my operating system and look under network you should find yours in a, in a similar place then under network proxy it says off here just click the gear icon then select manual and type in your proxy address let me copy it so i can paste it in the other boxes and do the same for my port and then close as you can see these are my settings similar to the ones i use here on firefox so let's try twitter again as you can see twitter is working let's proceed to the next method so this method actually requires you to have internet either any browser or to download this file initially so on my google search i'll just type this proxy man then human foot just type what i just typed and you click the first link on the results it should be a github repository like you can see here just select this So just click here and download the code click ok so it quickly opens and extract just select extract you can extract it to your favorite location so i click extract then i close and i close this then i i'll go to my file manager so I can find the file. So as you can see it's here, but then I quickly open it. 
to install this program you just want to right click or you can navigate to this path on your terminal you can see with this exact folder to install this you you type install like this then click and press any key as you can see it says failed to install you can still use dot for slash main dot sh but before we get to that method let's actually fix the reason why this is not working so i'll just quickly close this tab and i'll go back to github go here on the issues and find this particular issue with about 20 comments this one and quickly scroll down the first fix i'd advise you to use is this one but if this one doesn't work you can try the other method so this is the method i use way you're supposed to add this line of text to your bash rc file so I just quickly copy it and try find my best rc so I'll on on your file explorer or your file manager you, you can click ctrl h to show hidden files is i just did in this folder showed up so i want this file the dot bash rc file i'll open it with text edit and scroll to the bottom to paste As you can see i've just pasted and then i'll save it so it's saved close the program and then you have to run this so the file is updated and copy it and open your terminal you can open it with ctrl alt t or just click here so we are within the terminal so quickly type ls so i can see the files inside as you can see shows this folder change into that direct then i'll run this tab. then once you've run this you can then try installing again so you can see install successful so we now have the program installed then let's proceed to set it up so the best way to set is to set this up is saying proxy man set if the program managed to install successfully you can use the set but if it if it did not you can use this dot forward slash main dot sh and leave a space you can use this to set but you must be inside this direct but since we've installed this program we can go back and use the normal script which works on any folder you're in then it asks me to type my ip address i'll quickly do that click enter enter my port enter again i don't have a password or username on my port so i'll use n and click yes yes since my ip addresses are the same enter again yes to save the profile Then if you want a system wide cover up you can use the first one that's how i usually use i just select one but if you know what you're doing you can choose the other options so let's run the command again then the proxy should be set now so let's test let's say sudo if it works the pro it should request from our proxy address as you can see it's listing our proxy address here which means it has been set successfully as you can see it's, the internet is working inside the terminal so i hope this helps you thank you for watching please like and subscribe